we are closing the year and I know that many people are in great thought and deep thoughts wondering whether God has still been together with them through the year that is coming to an end. And this has caused some people to be sad. Others, sure, are happy because their plans have been fulfilled. But I wonder whether God is looking at our lives, the manner in which we are looking at it. We could be so occupied with our limited focus of our single lives and miss out of how God is having the big picture of our lives. Today, I want you to think as we end the year of how God looks into our lives. And I want to invite you to a Bible passage that will help us to perceive things the way God sees them. This is the book of Daniel, a book that is so much filled with great insights about God's revelations. But today we want to look at chapter seven. And I want to read the first few verses just to give us a picture of how God reveals himself. The Bible says in the earlier, earlier during the year of King Belshazzar reign in Babylon, Daniel had a dream and saw visions as he lay in his bed. He wrote down the dreams and this is what he saw. The Bible says that just at the end of a year of a reign, when a new king is coming up, Belshazzar, the Bible says, Daniel saw a vision, meaning God revealed to Daniel certain things that he desired Daniel to know. I know that the background of this book makes me understand that Daniel at this time would have been also occupied by his life. For at this time, Daniel is aged. 50 years have passed since Daniel came to Babylon and is thinking about his life, thinking about the lives of the Israelites in captivity. He's wondering whether God is still with them. God comes to Daniel and reveals and gives him a big picture. The big picture is God tells Daniel all the world history. He places before Daniel's vision how the world will come to be. He gives him the picture of the country or the nation of Babylon where Daniel is. And he goes further to tell him about the succeeding nations of Medo-Persia and of Greece and Rome. And eventually Daniel is caught up in a final kingdom, small little horn. And the Bible says in Daniel chapter 7 verse 17 that Daniel was quite disturbed by the vision of the little horn. And he wondered what could all be with this little horn mean. I want to tell you that at this particular time, when God gives Daniel the vision of nations, God is revealing to Daniel a big picture. God is telling Daniel that don't look so much on your single life, on your limited focus of your life. This is the big picture of life. I want to take three lessons from this vision. One, God is telling Daniel, all things are under my vision. I have the plan and the purposes of nations, Daniel. I am seeing God tending to tell Daniel, if I'm taking care of the nations, can I take care of your single life? As we come at the end of the year, somebody may be wondering about a single life, but I want to give you this good news that if God takes care of the nation, before this God had told Daniel, I am the one who raises the kings. I raise the nations. I am the one who pulls them down. God is in charge of nations. I want to imagine that your single life cannot be able to, uh, cannot be beyond God's control. He is definitely in it. Number two, I want to tell you that though God gives Daniel a big picture of the nations, he's telling Daniel that you are part of the puzzle. Each person and each life is part of God's plans. And we ought to take our lives like that. Sometimes we think of our lives so in isolation and we forget that we are part of the big picture of God's plans and purposes. God has a big picture. He plans the nations, but we are also involved in the plans of God. Finally, I want to tell you that apart from God being with a big picture of the nations and we are part of his plan, I want to tell you that Daniel is told that at the end of all these nations, the thrones were set. God sat on the throne and Daniel says, I saw the ancient of days coming. This is to tell you, child of God who is listening to me, as you come at the end of the year, I want to tell you that at the end of all these things, 
God will be victorious. He will be the one who will take the throne. The Bible says that all the kingdoms that raised up, that Daniel was able to see, came to an end and the throne was set. And not the throne of the kingdom of this earth, but the throne of God himself. And you know the good news is, Daniel is told that the people who love God shared with the Son of Man the throne that was set. I want to tell you that as you look at your life coming at the end of the year, do not focus on your isolated life. Focus on the big picture of God. Let the big picture be where you are looking up on your life. The Bible says, lift up your eyes unto Christ in whom your life has been hidden. In Christ, God has given us all the riches of the kingdom above. And that's where he wants all of us to find purpose and meaning of life. Let's not look for meaning of life, probably like Babylon in the possessions that we have. Let's not look at meaning of life, probably in our prestige, like the Greece or the Greek had looked at the prestige of their life. Let's not look life on the pride of life and the things that we have acquired, not even in power, like the kingdom of, power, of Rome. Let's look at life in the peace that God gives us in Jesus Christ. Remember, we should have a big picture of God over our lives.